November 16, 2014 from Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis, Missouri. It was the Denver Broncos at the St. Louis Rams. The Rams won the toss and they elected to receive, so they would take over first. And they had the ball on their own 20 to start off their first possession. Then on third and three from the 27, Sean Hill hit Britt for a 33-yard pass, and that made a first down on the Denver 40. They were then faced with a third and eight from the 38, but a neutral zone infraction would give them five yards to make a third and three from the 33, and Hill hit Cook for a three-yard pass that so would pick up the first down. So now they had the ball first down on the 30. They then picked up a first down with a 10-yard run by Mason that brought it to the 20. But they would end up stalling on the 19 after Hill was sacked for a 5-yard loss by Vaughn Miller. And out would come with Zerline to kick a 37-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the score was now 3 to nothing. Rams over the Broncos. So now the Broncos would take over on their own 15 with about 9 minutes left in the first quarter. And they would actually lose some yards with a holding penalty on first down that would bring them back to the 8, and it would be first and 17. But then Peyton Manning hit Emmanuel Sanders for a 22-yard pass to make it a first down on the 30. They would end up punting the ball, though, a couple plays later. And now St. Louis would take over on their own 23 with about 7 minutes left in the first quarter, but they would punt it after 4 plays. And so now Denver took back over with about 5 minutes left in the first on their own 21. They were then faced with a 3rd and 3 from the 28, and Peyton Manning hit Emmanuel Sanders for a 12-yard pass. And that made it a first down on the 40. They were then faced with a 3rd and 5 from the 45, and Peyton Manning hit Sanders now for a 13-yard pass to make it a first down on the 42 of St. Louis. But then after getting the ball to the 37, they were faced with a fourth and five, and they went for it, and an incomplete pass turned the ball over on downs. So now St. Louis would take over on their own 37. Sean Hill dropped back the pass, and he hit Britt for a 63-yard touchdown pass, and it was now 10 to nothing. St. Louis over Denver. So now the Broncos would take over on their own 20 with about a minute left before the end of the first quarter. They'd pick up a first down. And then on first and 10 from the 36, C.J. Anderson was stopped for just a yard. And the first quarter came to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was St. Louis 10, Denver 0. And so now to open up the second quarter, the Broncos had the ball on the 37-yard line, their own 37. It was second and nine, and a pair of incomplete passes would bring out Cole Quit to punt the ball to the Rams. So now the Rams would take over on their own 24 with about 15 seconds ticked off the clock in the second quarter, and they would go three and out. So the Broncos would get the ball back now on their own 20 with about 13 minutes left in the second quarter, but after six plays, they would punt the ball back to the Rams. So the Rams now had it on their own 20 with about 11 minutes left in the second quarter. And then after being faced with a third and two on their own 28, Sean Hill threw it to Bailey for a 10-yard pass, and that made it a first down on the 38. And then Hill hit Britt for a 21-yard pass to make it a first down on the 41 of Denver. Hill then hit Britt for an 11-yard pass, and it was a first down on the 30. Then on second and three from the 23 of Denver, Hill went to Austin, and he picked up five yards for the first down. And that brought the ball to the 18 as they were now in the red zone. Hill then went to Kendricks for an 8-yard pass. And then Mason lost a yard on 2nd down. And that brought up 3rd and 3 from the Denver 11. And Hill ended up throwing it to himself for no gain. He, he threw it up. The ball was batted and he caught his own pass. It was kind of crazy. But that was that. And out would come Greg Zerline to attempt a 29-yard field goal. And it was up. It was good. And it was now 13 to nothing. Rams over the Broncos. So now Denver would take over on their own 20. Peyton Manning would find Demarius Thomas for a 23-yard reception on first down to bring it to the 43 at Denver. And then Manning went back to Demarius Thomas for a 15-yard pass this time. And that brought the ball across midfield to the St. Louis 42. So now the ball on the 42. They were actually faced with a third and 10. Peyton Manning dropped back to pass, and he found Emmanuel Sanders for a 42-yard touchdown that to put the Broncos on the scoreboard. And it was now 13-7 to as the Broncos cut the Rams' lead to six points. So now St. Louis would take over on their own 18 with about two and a half minutes left before halftime. But they would end up playing the ball four plays later. 
Denver would get the ball and they would take a knee. And this game came to halftime with the score. St. Louis 13, Denver 7. So now to start things off in the second half in the third quarter. The Broncos would get the ball first. They would start off on their own 20. And Peyton Manning would hit Jacob Tammy for a 10-yard pass and make it a first down on the 30. Then on second and six from the 34, Peyton Manning went to Emmanuel Sanders for a 13-yard pass that brought the ball to midfield at the Denver 47. There was then an unnecessary roughness play on the next play, and that would make it a first down on the 38 of St. Louis for the Broncos. They were then forced with a third and 10, and an incomplete pass would bring out the punting unit. So they would punt the ball to the Rams. Now the Rams took over with about 12 and a half minutes left in the third with the ball on their own 15. They would end up punting the ball nine plays later after bringing the ball out to the 42. So now the Broncos would get the ball on their own 13 with about eight minutes left in the third. They would bring it out to the 32, but that's where their drive stalled, and they would punt the ball back to St. Louis, who now took over with about six minutes left in the third, and they had the ball at midfield at their own 48, and they would bring the ball into Denver territory. Then on second and six from the Denver 48, Trey Mason ran for 27 yards to bring the ball to the Denver 21. Then on second and nine from the 20, Tavon Austin on an end around ran for nine yards to pick up a first down on the Denver 11. But their drive would end up stalling on the four-yard line, and out would come Greg's line to kick a 22-yard field goal. It was up, it was good, and it was now 16-7 St. Louis over Denver as they extended their lead to nine points. So now the Broncos would take over with less than two minutes left in the third with the ball on their own 11-yard line. Manning hit C.J. Anderson for a seven-yard pass, and that would make it second and three from the 18, and then Manning went to Demarius Thomas for a 16-yard pass that would make it a first down on the 34. Manning then went to C.J. Anderson for a 12-yard pass, and it was now a first down on the 46, and Peyton Manning was sacked by Laronitis for an eight-yard loss that brought the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, it was Rams 16, Broncos 7. So now to open up the fourth quarter with second and 18 from the Denver 38 for the Broncos. Peyton Manning dropped back to pass and he was intercepted by Ogletree. And so now the Rams would take over on their own 47 with just 5 seconds ticked off the clock in the fourth quarter. They would get the ball into field goal range, and Zerline would come out to kick a 55-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And it was now 19-7 Rams over the Broncos. So now Denver would take over on their own 20 with 12 minutes left in this game as they were trailing by 12 points. So basically, they needed to score a point per minute to tie this game. They would end up getting the ball into field goal range, actually, and they were faced with a fourth and four from the 28. And they went for it because they needed to score twice, although maybe they had other options. But they went for it, and Peyton Manning was sacked by the rookie Aaron Donald for a 12-yard loss that turned the ball over on downs as the Rams now took over on their own 40-yard line with less than 10 minutes on the clock. They would end up punting the ball, though, five plays later, and now Denver would take over on their own 17 with about six and a half minutes left in the fourth, still trailing by 12. Peyton Manning hit Tammy for a seven-yard pass on first down to make it second and three. Then a false start would bring him back and make it second and eight from the 19. Manning hit Anderson for a nine-yard pass, and that was first down on the 28. Manning then dropped back to pass, and he was intercepted by Johnson. And so now it was a Rams ball on the Denver 41 with about five and a half minutes left to play. They would end up getting in closer a little bit. And from the 35, Zerlan would come out to attempt a 53-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And now it was 22-7 St. Louis over Denver. So now Denver took over on their own 25 with about a little less than five minutes left to play in this game as they were now trailing by 15. They would end up getting the ball to midfield and into St. Louis territory, but then they were for faced with a fourth and one from the St. Louis 41, and Peyton Manning threw an incomplete pass, and they turned the ball over on downs, and now the Rams would take over with two and a half minutes left with the ball on their own 41. They would go three and out, but they did run two minutes off the clock, and they punted the ball now to Denver, who only had 24 seconds left, and they needed 15 points. They would pick up 15 yards, 
but the game came to a close, and the St. Louis Rams beat the Denver Broncos with a final score, St. Louis 22, Denver 7. And with the victory, the Rams are now 4-6 and six on the season, and the Broncos fall to 7-3. and three. They're 2-3 and three on the road. And in this game, Sean Hill was 20-29 for 29 with 220 passing yards and a touchdown. Peyton Manning was 34-54 for 54 with 389 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. The leading rusher in this game was Trey Mason. He had 113 yards off of 29 carries. The leading receiver in this game was Britt. As Kenny Britt had 128 yards off of four receptions, one of which was for a touchdown. Demarius Thomas had 103 yards off of seven receptions, and Emmanuel Sanders had 102 yards off of five receptions, one of which was for a touchdown. The leading tackler in this game was Brandon Marshall for the Broncos. He had 15 tackles. But Alec Ogletree of the Rams had 13 tackles, including that interception. James Laronitis had 11 tackles, including a sack. And he also uh, just made big plays. Johnson had a pickoff as well. The other sack was for Donald, the rookie, as we had mentioned earlier. The Broncos had three sacks. Is Demarcus Ware and Von Miller and Wolf each had sacks. They didn't get any picks, though. And the Rams, with those two picks off of Peyton Manning, very uncharacteristic of Peyton. And the Rams' defense comes up huge in this win. And, of course, Greg Saline, as he had not one, not two, not three, not four, but five field goals. He himself outscored Peyton Manning. How about that? And the final score, St. Louis 22, Denver 7.